Hello students, welcome to class 6 for your online class for learning the subject English Literature. Children, today we will read and understand the poem The Banyan Tree by Rabindranath Tagore. The poet Rabindranath Tagore has written a very simple poem with pretty images with beautiful images that we can see around. Let us read the poem and understand the summary. Oh you shaggy headed banyan tree standing on the bank of the pond, have you forgotten the little child like the birds that have nested in your branches and left you? So here the poet is calling the banyan tree shaggy headed. Now this tree is looking like a shaggy headed because of the thick branches, long branches that is twisting around the tree, the roots that is unkept as if the tree has not kept its hair tidy shaggy headed means untidy head so here this banyan tree is standing at the bank of the pond bank of the pond means near the water area near the pond so the poet is asking this tree the shaggy headed banyan tree that have you forgotten the little child now who is this little child the poet is talking about to the tree and then the poet asks that have you forgotten the little child like the birds that have nested in your branches and left you now this banyan tree is usually very large in size very huge in size if you have seen a banyan tree in Hindi we call it as bargat ka ped, and it has got tiny leaves and roots coming out from the branches thick as the tree grows older the roots also become the size of the roots also it becomes thick and so the poet is asking that have you forgotten the little child like how there are countless birds who come make nest and they live on your branches and then they fly and then they go away either they go and make house make nest in other tree branches or they just fly away so have you forgotten how you forgot the counting of the birds countless different kinds of birds who come and make nest and they fly away have you forgotten that little child like you have forgotten the countless number of birds who have come and made nest they have nested in your branches and have they have flown away do you not remember how he sat at the window and wondered at the tangle of your roots and plunged underground so here the poet is asking about that little boy do you not remember how he used to sit near the window and then he used to hold your root and swing down to the ground plunged underground means he used to jump from the high window holding your roots the women would come to fill their jars in the pond and your huge black shadow would wriggle on the water like sleep struggling to wake up so the poet is asking further don't you remember and i'm sure that you have not forgotten those women who used to come to fill their jar in the pond and when they used to put their jar or pot to fill water from the pond your huge black shadow now the tree shadow used to fall on the pond and so when this women used to put their jar or pot to fill water the water used to shake wriggle means it used to shake as if 
somebody is waking up from sleep and the black huge black shadow that used to come from the tree it used to seem that the shadow is struggling to wake up from the deep sleep so children i think you must have done this you must have thrown or you must have touched water when you have shadow and then you can see that your shadow shakes or wriggles with the water and if not you can try this sunlight danced on the ripples like restless tiny shuttles weaving golden tapestry so here the poet is further describing the scene and is telling that when the sunlight falls on the little waves ripples means little waves that form in the water so when the sunlight dances or when the sunlight falls on the ripples or the tiny waves of water this looks as if tiny shuttles shuttles is the machine used to weave weave means to make cloth out of thread so it looks as if tiny shuttle or tiny machine like shuttle is weaving is making golden tapestry now tapestry is a cloth design or pattern which is made out of the thread colorful thread that the women wear the cloth border which is made out of the golden silver or colorful thread so when the sunlight is dancing on the little waves ripple it looks like the shuttles or the small device or machine we can say is making weaving golden design of tapestry or the cloth with the golden pattern two ducks swam by weedy margin above their shadows and the child would sit still and think then the poet is beautifully describing the surrounding the image of the pond he's telling that we can see two ducks are swimming by the weedy margin weedy margin the the side of the pond is filled with weeds the grass that grows in the pond water area and he could even see the shadow falling on the water and there is the child who came down from the window is sitting still and thinking now what is the child thinking he longed to be the wind and blow through your resting branches to be your shadow and lengthen with the day on the water so here the poet is telling that the boy is sitting still and thinking he is longing he is thinking that in his thought he is thinking that why not i will be i would be a wind and blow through the branches of this banyan tree or maybe i will be the shadow of this banyan tree and as the day passes by from morning to evening the shadow grows it lengthens it grows so in the same way when i will become the shadow of the banyan tree the shadow will lengthen as the day will pass by to be a bird and perch on your topmost twig and the boy is thinking is thinking what he would be he is thinking that or maybe i will be a bird one of the countless bird that comes and nests on the branches of this shaggy headed banyan tree and i will perch perch means i will sit on the topmost twig i will sit on the topmost branch of the tree and to float like those ducks among the weeds and shadows and so 
the boy is thinking or maybe i will be like the ducks the ducks and float among the weeds and these ducks are gliding and floating so smoothly among the weeds and the shadow of the weeds and the ducks are looking so beautiful so here in this poem we find that the poet rabindranath tagore has described the banyan tree the shaggy headed banyan tree and is telling to the banyan tree that where is that child have you forgotten the child now children what what do you think where the child must be i think nowadays children they are so much engaged in video game and mobile so i think that child is maybe somewhere inside his room and playing video game or playing games in the mobile phone and has forgotten all those beautiful time that he used to spend time with the banyan tree and play around and sit there near the pond watch the birds and ducks and enjoy the environment so there are so many villages there are so many villages in bengal where you have pond and where you have the big trees where children used to play but now these trees like this shaggy headed banyan tree are all left alone without anybody playing around so here the poet is asking this banyan tree the shaggy headed banyan tree have you forgotten or do you remember or do you still remember that little child who used to come here sit and think different kind of thoughts what he would be around you and used to spend time with you thank you for watching and stay safe